Hey, what's going on, guys? Log Dad Zip here. Do you like my house? It's great. <laughs> it's got a chimney. And it, the chimney spits out cobwebs. It's an old chimney. And it's got music for windows. Isn't that just jovial? <laughs> this is a survival redstone house from Minecraft 1.12. However, it is not just a survival redstone house. It is the ultimate. And by ultimate, I mean it's really ultimate. Just tr trust me, okay? Why is it ultimate? Because it's super compact. You will find inside this survival house tons of redstone contraptions and features that will allow you to live here and get everything you could ever possibly need to get done, done. In Minecraft. For other games, your results may vary. But if you want to check out the house for yourself, the download is going to be found in the description, as well as a few other houses we're going to be checking out after this one. So why don't we go ahead and begin? Hey, wait, shh. It's okay. I've got a new gaming channel. You should check it out. Links in the description. The outside, they're nothing special. It's just a house. Everything's inside. Why would you put your house objects outside? They're gonna get stolen. Idiots. And <laughs> mean. Anyways, we'll begin with the most obvious feature. It comes with puppies that are stuck in the ground. Slash whatever. No, really. It's actually a skeleton farm built into the house. And the pups will actually eat the skeletons alive. Let them feast it on the bones. Good experience farm. And not only that, but great drops. Now, I think the drops you see, they're kind of siphoning slowly in to this bottom area. You see loot from the chicken farm and the skeleton farm. Found below. Ouch. Pain. All y'all need to know is the skeleton loot hangs out down here. Look at this! Aquafinity! My favorite! I love drinking water. Check out all this sweet loot, bones, arrows, bows, armor, whole nine yards, although you might want to place uh, a ladder, so I'm just saying. Much better. Now over on this side is the fishing farm loot skis. As you can see, it's empty. It's because we haven't gone fishing yet. Well, don't mind me while I go fishing. And I do want to note, this may not work in 111. It's supposed to work, or it may not work in 112. It's supposed to work in 112. You're just supposed to let it do its thing, you see? The fish is eventually supposed to come join you. So we will wait patiently. Come on, come on. Come on, what takes so long? I'm impatient. The idea is you can fish in it, and when you do and you retrieve your string back from your rod, it, it gets sucked into here, and it, all the fish and loot. Oh, it worked, it's a little fish. Okay, let's see. Oh. Well, that puts me at ease. All right, we're back upstairs to show you this next one right here. It is the potato farm. Hold right click with potatoes and turn on. Well, we're gonna plant the first one. Look at this. Starts growing them right there and you can just slowly gather mass amounts of potatoes. Now I'm in creative mode, so it's not collect. Oh boy, not to worry, I am an expert. Uh, it's something, I figure. <laughs> Anyways, you can take those potatoes put them in the potato furnace by placing them in this chest right here and they will feed in to this, right? I think there's, Where's the feed? Oh, right. It goes into this hopper behind here. Sneaky. This is where the fuel goes, right inside. And I'll start cooking up your potato like it ain't no thing. Now, we're going to switch into survival mode for this next one here. Wow, I am almost dead. And, of course, right here, we've got ourselves a concrete farm. The redstone torch right here will detect when we place our concrete powder, which will dispense us a brand new concrete powder. And the water right here will turn it into concrete, so you don't have to worry about moving. You just got to keep placing as is and you will slowly but surely have all the concrete colors you want all you gotta do is load them in here and you're good to go where's my other concrete oh there you are of course hanging out right here is a dispenser filled with nothing but goodies aka infinite chicken so that i can eat a little bit not go starving Ooh, and open a random chest everywhere this leads to some stuff that is upstairs oh you didn't know there's an upstairs huh well there is an upstairs but we're not even done with this room yet check it out down here trap door Hides all of your enchanting needs. You can just enchant, and you got all your books hidden in an underneath area for you to utilize. The rest of these chests is pretty much a storage chest. It's taking up a lot of room, so you could replace it with things like paintings. And oh, well, don't replace this one. That must be for another upstairs object. But a lot of these you could replace. You could put a bed there. You could put I don't know, your favorite picture of your friend there. I don't think that's an item in Minecraft. And final thing, armor equipper. Press this button. Look what happens. Hey, look, I have nothing on. Boom! Yeah, beautiful. I was like, is it going to work? No, it did work. <laughs> we just got auto-equipped everything in one little grab there. And I'm getting so much experience. Thanks, pupper. I'm going to feed you. Boom, I fed him. He's happy. Final things are basic things like anvils, brewing stands, general cooking purpose areas, and the like. So with that, 
why don't we go ahead and look up and go upstairs and you can do that by right clicking this mine cart here which will allow you to quickly get to your upstairs area where you've got a little more room to breathe a nice flower you know feng shui and all that and you've got the rest of your storage up here as well as a few other farms so this is a sugarcane and cactus farm when the cactus grows it will break because it's touching this observer block and cactus blocks don't work that way that's what needs to happen if they touch a different block they will break which will cause this observer to activate and break this sugar cane it's like a match made in heaven these two work together to kill each other evil and there's that collecting right over there and if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna try and get in here can i read yeah the ho oh yeah that's right you can get him from downstairs that's some good stuff now look at that guy peeking he's peeking i'm coming for you baby don't worry hey oh man i got nothing but bad news for you guys a cooking chicker what what did he say wow that was a complete accident Anyways, all you need to know is you place a bunch of chickens here, they slowly lay eggs, which will appear into this hopper. The hopper will cause this comparator to set a pulse off that will make them dispense automatically into chicken form. And the moment these things grow big enough, they cause a lava dispenser to cook them alive. And I'll wait until that activates. Nothing personal, guys. Sorry. Oh, stop looking at me now. Okay, we're gonna do this my way. I stole an egg, and I'm gonna replicate it being shot on out. Yeah, that's good. Wait, it went to the wrong... Dang it. Oh, man, I just missed it. It went off of the tune. I ah, worst. Okay, well, here's how it actually works. Okay, we're just gonna throw one in here like that, and then look. Boom. Kills all the chickens, not the babies, because they're too small, but it will kill them when they grow. So I'm gonna feed you. <laughs> there, one adult chicken ready for the taking. Presumably. So now we'll go ahead and place you in there. And look at that. The chicken burns alive. And you collect the chicken underneath. Got a flower farm here. Not entirely sure what it does, but apparently you can use it to spawn and dupe in flowers? No, this can't be real. How does it even do that? I'm so confused. I've never seen that before. Is that a real feature? Or is that a glitch? It's gotta be a glitch. Okay, what if we use a different type of flower? I'm gonna try and use this flower. What happens then, huh? Ah, weird. So sunflowers you can duplicate. I didn't know that. That can't be real. What? Well, I like it. Of course, you've got a real nice bouncy bed to jump on. And you've got a nice hiding spot for whenever mom and dad come home early. And you're secretly playing video games when you were supposed to be grounded. <laughs> Yo, I used to do that all the time. Uh, my mom never found out. Suck it, mom. Oh, wait. She's going to watch this. Oops. And to get down, you just fall through the minecart willy-nilly good to go now if you wanted to see down here once again there really isn't anything special but if you are wondering how the skeleton farm works well allow me to explain further there is a spawner under here that is slowly spawning in more and more skeletons and what happens with these skeletons which so if i could backtrack by the way if you're going to build a house like this it's got to be built near a spawner but look what happens they take an item well a skeleton elevator all the way up to the top, you can see the water slowly pushing them upwards. Get my way, stupid skeletons. Until they reach a certain point in this farm area where they just drop on down and the wolves take them out. One more time, boys, for the sake of the good old boys. Crack a cold one open with the boys. Just hurry up. Just get yeah, yeah. Thanks, pupper. Anyways, now what we're gonna do. <laughs> drop flowers now what we're gonna do is check out a few other survival like homes this is it for the noobs home so if you want to check out the download guess it's gonna be found in the description of this video for now the rest of the homes oh well this is awkward but the second house i was going to show you is a starter house in a different way no redstone in this one but a beautiful starter house nonetheless you could opt to download this world instead of making your own house allow me to show you what's inside because it isn't just empty there's a few things that right buddy okay well why don't we go ahead and check out the inside you've got your basic storage area you got some nice tools to start out with this is literally a good world save to start out with you already got a little pup his name's benny benny's bed benny's got an orange collar I don't like orange color. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, I guess I'm talking about you. You can't speak my language. But why don't we go ahead and head on downstairs to the secret area that we already went back upstairs to. And now we head upstairs. You got a bed. You can keep all your most precious vibe for my health. What is this about, Dundee? If you're reading this, it means you've woken up, my friend. I hope your head is not hurt from that creeper attack. Taking on one of those in just leather armor and not even a full set. You must be out of your blocky mind. 
Well, yeah, you get a whole lick of information about Minecraft. This book is actually filled with mob tips and tricks. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the game it is you just picked up or a refresher, then this is going to be a great world for you to download. It's also going to be found in the description of this video, and apparently it is by Don Deed. So big thank you so much to Don Deed as well as to Noobs for these amazing starter houses. One featuring a whole bunch of redstone, one featuring a whole bunch of homegrown Minecraft where you don't got to worry about knowing how contraptions work. And you, this is really is such a lovely, wow, with the little cooking area outside so that the smoke doesn't get all up in the house. And when you're trying to cook steak, it just gets all nasty, smoky. And so, you know what I'm talking about? No, you don't. Well, then you probably don't cook. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like rating on the video. Like I said, all downloads found in the description of this video. You got to subscribe, though, if you want to see more amazing Minecraft content right as it comes out. Good luck with the starter homes, and with that, I leave you. We'll see you later.